optimizing biomarker testing for patients with metastatic prostate cancer. Prostate cancer comprises about one in five of all new cancer cases in men and is one of the leading causes of cancer deaths among men in the United States. In 2020, an estimated 191,930 men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer and 33,330 will die from the disease. Most patients are diagnosed with early stage disease, which is curable and has a five-year survival of almost 100%. But for men diagnosed with metastatic prostate cancer, five-year survival is only approximately 30%. Biomarkers like prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, are routinely tested in prostate cancer. Biomarker testing for mutations in homologous recombination repair, or HRR genes, is a novel approach for patients with metastatic prostate cancer that may be used to help guide patient care. The HRR pathway is a high-fidelity, accurate pathway that repairs double-strand DNA breaks and restores the original DNA sequence by using a matched DNA strand as a template for the repair process. Loss of function to perform HRR represents a cell's impaired ability to accurately repair its own DNA and can be caused by mutations in HRR genes such as BRCA1 and BRCA2. HRR gene mutation status may have therapeutic, prognostic, and familial implications in patients with prostate cancer. Mutations in HRR genes can be somatic or germline. Somatic mutations are acquired at some time during a person's life and are present only in the tumor cells. Somatic mutations cannot be passed on to children. Germline mutations are inherited from a parent and are present in every cell in the body. HRR gene mutations, either somatic or germline, are present in about one in four men with advanced prostate cancer. The most common HRR gene mutations found in patients with metastatic prostate cancer, listed in order of prevalence, are within the BRCA2, ATM, CHECK2, and BRCA1 genes. Evidence suggests that certain HRR gene mutations may increase the risk of more aggressive disease and poorer outcomes for patients with metastatic prostate cancer. HRR gene mutation testing may help determine clinical approaches in patients with prostate cancer. The NCCN Clinical Practice Guidelines in Oncology NCCN Guidelines for Prostate Cancer recommend tumor testing for mutations in HRR genes such as BRCA1, BRCA2, ATM, PALB2, FANCA, RAD51D, CHECK2, and CDK12 in all men with metastatic prostate cancer and should be considered in men with regional prostate cancer. In addition, the NCCN guidelines recommend germline testing for HRR gene mutations in BRCA1, BRCA2, ATM, PALB2, and CHECK2 in patients with metastatic prostate cancer and patients with high risk, very high risk, or regional prostate cancer, patients with prostate cancer and Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry, or a positive family history of cancer, and patients with prostate cancer of intraductal or cribriform histology. Different testing strategies are available for determining HRR mutation status in patients with prostate cancer. Tumor testing identifies both somatic and germline mutations and can be performed on fresh tissue, archived tissue, or on plasma DNA obtained by liquid biopsy. Tissue testing is considered the gold standard when performing molecular testing on tumor tissue, the quality and quantity of the sample should be considered. Quality and quantity can be impacted by factors such as the age of the sample, collection method, and whether the sample is collected from the primary tumor or from soft tissue or bone metastatic sites. HRR gene mutation testing can be done using archived tissue or newly collected samples. A recent prospective study showed that even archived tissue samples that are more than 10 years old can be processed for testing. The study also showed that both primary and metastatic sites can provide sufficient quality and quantity of tissue for testing. 
Special considerations such as avoiding strong acid in the decalcification process should be taken to preserve samples taken from bone. Liquid biopsy testing measures circulating tumor DNA or ctDNA in the bloodstream and can be performed using a blood sample. A liquid biopsy is minimally invasive and may be used if tumor tissue is inadequate or unavailable. The mutation profile provided by ctDNA analysis is dependent on the tumor releasing DNA into the bloodstream. ctDNA may be limited following recent androgen deprivation therapy. The sensitivity of liquid biopsy testing compared with tissue testing is still under investigation. One small study of 42 patients with metastatic prostate cancer showed 88.9% concordance between tissue testing and ctDNA analysis to identify specific driver mutations, including BRCA2 and ATM. Though tumor testing and liquid biopsy testing can detect both somatic and germline mutations, these testing methods do not distinguish between them. Therefore, germline testing should be considered if tumor testing is positive to confirm familial implications. As germline mutations are inherited, blood-related family members may have an elevated risk of developing certain types of cancer as well. HRR gene mutation testing is taking its place among other biomarkers for patients with prostate cancer. Routine HRR gene mutation testing should be performed in patients with metastatic prostate cancer to better understand your patient's mutation status and help guide patient care. Discuss establishing a testing protocol with the multidisciplinary team at your institution to help identify patients for biomarker testing.